Hey guys, how you doing? Today I'm going to talk to you about the meet and greet mastery, literally going to the next level. Listen, I want to tell you this. Everybody's ate up with like closing the next car deal, overcoming the next objection that comes in, right? The word track that like advances the sell. Here's what I want to share with you. If you can't crush the meet and greet, and I'm talking like next level, do you know what happens when you get into that closing situation? Well, the customers don't trust you. The customers don't feel close to you. You don't know enough about them. I'm going to share with you in this short video, I am going to show you not fact, find, qualify, but meet and greet how to become one of the top salesmen in the country by doing the first step better than all the other people that are asleep at the wheel at your competition and other dealerships. And by the way, my name is Andy Elliott. If you don't know who I am, you can go to the YouTube, subscribe to me right now, click on the alert bell. I put up daily training videos. Unless I'm out of town and I'm in another store training, every morning I'll put out a training video for closing negotiations, overcoming objections, and I'm ate up and I become geeked out with like making more money and raising gross on deals. But you can't raise the gross on a deal if the customer doesn't love you. So I want to go back to the meet and greet and that's it. This is next level selling. Let's get into it. All right. So I'm going to start out with some things that I want you to remember. These are, I'm not even going to get into building common ground and some killer questions that you need to ask that'll, that'll make that solid foundation unbelievable so you can actually start the sales process. I'm going to tell you some things that I want you to remember. Get a piece of paper and write this down. 90% of what you write down, you'll retain. 30% of what you listen to and you don't write down, you'll retain. Are you wanting to get 30% or 90%? I know this, if you're wanting to have the biggest 2020 you've ever had in your whole life and crush it and make three, four, five hundred thousand, hell, make your first hundred thousand. I'm just telling you this, whether you're brand new in sales, these are things that you need to know write it down it becomes in your head and you'll learn it better that way all right so things you need to remember in this business whoever can build the two-minute best friend is the guy that's going to make the most money woman or man if you can make a two-minute best friend you'll kill it i will share with you this step will make you more money than you've ever made in your life and if you need some training material over this send me a text message 918 210-0254. I've got the training material on this. I'll shoot it to you, okay? All right, 10 years ago, 10 years ago, somebody, a customer, somebody would buy from a salesman in spite of even liking them if the deal was good enough. In today's times, guys, I don't care if the deal's good enough. If they don't like you, they won't buy from you. You can never underestimate the, the meet and greet to, 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 to just make the whole deal go down. This is the most underestimated step and that's not talked about enough in selling. All right, 10 years ago. Sec, uh, thirdly, off limits to shortcuts. Anybody who's a high achiever, anyone who's going to be killing it in 2020 and who's making a bunch of money right now, guys, they're deadly at this and they don't shortcut. I never shortcut because when I do, it costs me dearly. So I've learned my, 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 it's like putting a hand in a cookie jar, bam. When I shortcut, I always feel the sting. If in your life you're not making a lot of money, if in your life, right, you're worried about all these other things but you haven't been talking enough about the meet and greet, you're shortcutting it. Watch this whole video and it will change your sales game. Number four, controlling the situation. Guys, us as salesmen, especially master closers, especially master salesmen, high achievers, the best salesmen in the world, people that are unbelievable at persuading and influencing. Do you think you can persuade and influence somebody if you don't have a great relationship with them? No ways, never gonna happen. You wanna control the situation, it starts here. Confidence is made here. How does a salesman feel when he knows his customers love him. He feels alive. He feels great. He knows he's gonna crush it. Your confidence is all built and made in this one step. Never forget that. Trust starts here. Listen, if people like you, they'll listen to you. 
If they believe you, then they'll buy from you. If they don't like you, which is the first step, which is where the trust is built, will there be anybody buying from you? Especially buying from you and making a lot of money? Not a chance. Trust is built here. Competence is seen. Man, I want to tell you this. You know what competence is? Competence is something that comes from confidence, understanding how to do your job and your processes. But let me tell you what your first job is, which is to make a best friend here. The customer starts to see the competence in you right off the start, whether you just go into talking about like what you have for sale or do you actually have genuine interest in them. The competence is seen in this very first, first step. Seeing preparedness. Look, I want to tell you, anytime that I'm around a salesperson and they, and they have something or a product that I may be interested in, I can always tell how prepared they are. And how I'll we'll know that is that if a guy's got something for sale, I'll talk to him for a second about it, and then he'll tell me about it, and that's about the end of the conversation. Usually when I spend my money is when I'm interested in something, and me and that person are talking about like other stuff and this, and all of a sudden, I'm like telling him about me. He's talking about some stuff. All of a sudden, I feel like I'm significant. Now, all of, a, all of a sudden, what am I doing? I'm buying something from him. Guess why? Because he's prepared to sell me something, and he's not skipping the meet and greet. Okay? Feel like they're not wasting their time. How many customers come into a dealership and feel like they're going to waste their time with the salesman they're dealing with? Tons. Listen. When people pull up on the lot in the first 30 seconds, I know you're prejudging your customers. Can they buy? Did they come to buy? You know, what, what are they, you know, are they here to, you're just, all this stuff you're judging, they are judging you, okay? And I'm guaranteeing you, before they even get out of the car, no matter how great you are, they have a feeling that you're going to waste their time. This is a step to show them that you're not going to waste their time and that you're different than all those other guys. All right, have the right person. This is probably the last point here before we get into the meat and potatoes. Have the right person. Does the customer feel like they have the right salesman in front of them? Do they feel that? At what step during the road to the sale do you feel like the customer is going to feel that they have the right salesman? The very first step. All the rest of it will go unbelievable if this one is done right. You need to let them know they found the right person. All right, let's get into it now. I've got the meet and greet mastery. Check this out. This is next level, and I wanna, I wanna tell you about a couple things. I'm gonna go over here. What you gotta do to make a first best friend, and then we're gonna get into how to build common ground, a couple neat pieces, and I've got some killer questions that you can ask that will help you really like get the customer talking about themselves. So you can literally write down these things, memorize them, ask them, and the same thing, you'll get the same result every time. Everybody will love you. All right, smile like a winner. You only got one first impression. You got one shot to dominate that first impression. How many first impressions do you get? One. What do you gotta do when you first meet them? You got to smile big. Hey guys, what's going on, man? How you doing? Nice to meet you guys. Oh my goodness, man, beautiful family. Watch, how do you feel about me? You probably feel pretty jacked up. You know why? Because I'm a good dude. You guys need to be this way. Your smile is everything. So number one, smile like you're a winner. Don't go out there like it looks like you got some problems going on, okay? You got some stuff going on at the house? You're broke, behind on your bills? Maybe you got some issues? Guys, you can't take it to the pavement with that. You gotta shake it, you gotta smile like a winner. People want to buy from winners, all right? Number two, give them the best welcome ever. What does that mean? Number one, that means eye contact, all right? Anytime that I'm dealing, I'm a good businessman, I have eye contact the entire time. Do you know why most people get a no during closing? Because they keep looking away. If you're making a deal, are you a business person? Yes. So where do you start the eye contact? in the very first step in the meet and greet. Hey guys, how, how are you doing? And I look them right in the eye. And that right there stands firm the entire sales process. Also, when people go to do business, you know what it's like to get a firm handshake? I'm not talking about breaking someone's hand. I'm talking about letting them know like, hey, how are you guys doing? Thanks for being here. And shaking their hand, 
They know that someone's doing business with them. And matter of fact, if you're the one to lead that on, when you shake their hand, a nice little firm handshake, guess what? It shows them that you're a business person, okay? Nothing even needs to be said. It's in the handshake. All right, best welcome ever. Number three, we got get everyone's name, acknowledge and include everyone. I wanna share this with you. Of course we get everybody's name. Why do I get everybody's name? Because I wanna say their name again. Listen, let me tell you my little trick on how I did so well and how I still do well. If I deal with somebody, I'll say their name over and over and over and over and over again until I memorize it. So if your name's Sandra, I'm like, hey, how are you doing? Hey, uh, welcome to the store. My name's Andy. And she's like, oh, my name's Sandra. I'm like, hey, Sandra, nice to meet you. Man, Sandra, how many kids do you have? And this is awesome. You guys got like an army. Awesome. Okay. All right, Sandra. So what? watch this. When I say Sandra, she feels significant. Okay. What do people want to do? Feel significant. Do you think that other salesmen say their customers' names over and over and over again? I'll bet you money they don't. You know why? All they're worried about is their selves and what they're going to sell them. People don't care about how much you know until they know how much you care. Say their name over and over. Acknowledge everyone. Remember, that lady that's quiet, that's being mean, that's ignoring everybody, she's a cosigner. Something's up, okay? Make her feel significant. Make him feel significant. Don't assume that you think you know what's going on. In the end, you'll find out you don't know what's going on and everyone is there for a reason. Involve everyone. All right, get everybody's name and acknowledge them. And then lastly, show genuine interest in them. Hey, am I a salesman? Yeah, yeah. Do I want to make a ton of money? Yeah, yeah, I want to kill it. But do you know what? I'm also a human being. You know what that means? Show genuine interest in people, please. Okay? Customer gets out of a car. They say, hey, we're here because we just got into a car accident. You completely missed the fact that this family just got into a car accident and they're needing to replace their car. Why don't you stop for a minute and be a, a human being? Guys, oh my God, are you, are you kidding me? First of all, number one, is everybody okay? Number two, like, what happened? Like that's, first of all, I'm gonna take unbelievable care of you, right? But show genuine interest, okay? Be a human being. That's all that this world is missing in sales. Is stop looking at the money and start looking at the people. And then what happens is when you take care of the people, the money's 10 times more than you even wanted. All right? Going back to this, building common ground, conversation pieces, and questions to ask. Let's get into this part right now. Okay, how do I build common ground? How do I spot a conversation piece from 10 yards away? I can walk up as I'm walking up, this side of my brain is like, all right, dude, winter smile, rock out, eye contact. This side is like, all right, what are we looking for here? What are we looking for here? We're gonna start a conversation with this person. How? Here's how. Veteran license plate, okay? Like I look at a license plate on a car and if it has like a tribal tag, I know they're Indian. I'm like, oh man, so let's say it says like Choctaw. I'm like, man, so are you guys, are you guys Choctaw? That's awesome. Wow, that's incredible. Yeah, I just sold the family two days ago. They were Choctaw. So let me ask you this, like how much, how much Choctaw are you guys? I mean, being Indian, like what percent, I mean, they know these questions. Oh, well, we're, we're about 40% Choctaw, wow. You're 100% Choctaw. Dude, that is awesome. Guess what happens? They love it. It's a great way to start. And then, so tell me about that. So you guys get lots of benefits from that and stuff, right? I mean, it's pretty amazing some stuff that I've heard. Guess what? Let them talk. Bumper stickers, college parking passes, shirts with sayings on them, uniforms. Guys, you got a uniform. I mean, you know, unless it's Halloween, right? I mean, that's a no-brainer. Hats. Any types of sportswear, I look for it nonstop. I'm constantly, a tattoo, I'm digging for the next deal. Man, what's that mean? What is that? Oh, that's where I killed the guy in prison. What? No, I'm just kidding. Look for a tattoo, look for something. Get them to talk about themselves. People love talking about themselves. Please, get them to talk about themselves. Memorize these things. Look for them. Be prepared to give a killer meet and greet they've never seen in their life. First impression. This side, look for that conversation piece. All right, 
Questions. What brings you to the dealership today? That is an important question, okay? Let them talk. Remember to remember what you hear. Just listen to it. How did this lead originate from, okay? What brings you into the dealership today? How long, I was, how, hey, how long have you guys lived in this area? How long have you lived in that area? Where'd you drive from? Watch this, what school did you attend? Search, I'll say, oh man, so you guys are from around here. What school did you go to? Man, I think I seen you in the gym. Are you kidding me? You don't go to that gym? Dang, man, you got a twin brother that goes there. That's crazy, man. There's a dude that looks just like you, I swear. Guess what, whatever it is, church, okay? You want to talk about church? Talk about it. Guys, nothing's off limits, okay? I just don't talk about politics. If people ask you, do you like the president, never answer that question, ever. Listen, unless you're a politics person, okay? I just assume, stay out of it, okay? You want to talk about it with your politic friends? Cool. Don't get into it with your customers. People just take that a little bit too personal, okay? Okay, where are you originally from? That's a great question. Like, not where did you drive from, but like, okay, so you guys lived around there. Cool, so you guys drove about two hours. So are you guys from there? Were you born there? No, you're born in California. What? How did you get there? Let them talk. Let them talk. How long have you been there? What do you do for a living? That's a great question. So man, so okay, so you need a pickup truck. So what, what do you do for a living? Like, is this truck gonna be for business? You know what I'm saying? Or is it like something you're just gonna pull the boat to the lake? Or do you guys just like trucks, man? I mean, like some people just drive trucks their whole life. Whatever, figure it out, let them talk. And how long have you been married? How many kids do you have? Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Listen, if you guys want some more information on this, send me a text, 918-210-0254. Please understand, you dominate this, you're going to the next level. Please subscribe to the video, give me a thumbs up, have a great day, I'll talk to you guys soon.